Hi guys, this is Clyde. I just uh, finished doing a, a, a quick mock-up of a, of a project that I planned on doing for this year's uh, Christmas display. And uh, right here I've got a um, DMX SPI decoder. I picked this up from Ray Wu over in China. And I think I paid $15.50 this year. He gave me a good price on it. And uh, sh shipping was super cheap and a large order. So this uh, was probably about 18 bucks or 17 bucks for uh, a DMX uh, pixel controller. Uh, this will run one universe. It's uh, nothing fancy. Uh, but anyway, I have, I, I have uh, decided to use this controller to run some flex tech strips that are hackable and they are a GEMI product and I used them last year for the arches on the display as well as some fire sticks on the sides of, on the uh, on the columns on the house and uh, I wanted to add two more to the upper roof uh, to the edges of the house and I figured that I would make a controller uh, that I uh, you know that was relatively inexpensive and uh, since I did get a lot of GECEs and I'm, I've made a few projects with them without using the power supply, I figured I'd convert this power supply into something, this wall wart, into something that could be used for a different project. Now, this has a pretty low amperage. If, if I were to zoom in here, you, you're, you might have a hard time seeing, but it reads here that, there, that it's a, um, a 0.22 amp uh, or 1.2 amp maximum output at maximum of six volt. Now, in order to make this so this this fit into this small container, which it's a sterilite container with a gasketed seal around the edges here, in order to make this fit into into this controller into this box, um, I wanted to make I wanted to remove the tines that actually plug into uh, plug it into the wall. So I had to do some deduct. Uh, first of all, the first thing I had to do was, uh, in order to get this power supply to hack it, I had to uh, pry it apart. And whenever I did, I found the inside here. I found two wires, a black one, and I found a, a white one. And then I had the output wires. Whenever you lift up this nice rubber coating here, there's a red wire coming out on the left and a black wire coming out on the right. And in DC voltage land, and, and as obviously you can see what I did was I took just a plain household extension cord, and it's plugged into the wall back here, back to the back. And I, I plugged the neutral into, or I soldered the neutral to, and you can see the, the heat shrink tape there. The neutral is uh, connected to the black wire, and the, the hot wire is connected to the, the white one there. And all I did was where the tines were, I just, you know, used the, hot, I used the uh, soldering iron here, and I stuck it through and made the holes bigger. And... Uh, and I just push this closed. I could heat, uh, use hot glue and glue that back together if I want to. But once I figured that out, then I went and used my multimeter to test. And here's my multimeter. And I wanted to test to see which line was the actual neutral and the positive. And what, voila, as soon as I connect this up and test it, you can see I've got five and a half, wa uh, five and a half volts on the multimeter there. Nice and easy. So 5.5 volts on the multimeter. So what this controller needs, the, the last of the build here is my output. I have to um, put my four core pigtail on because it actually has a clock and a data wire uh, and then obviously the ground and the positive. And then down here is my data connection for DMX. All I have to do is connect my, my orange stripe for my data plus and my uh, solid orange cable to my data, uh, my neutral data, and I think what I'll do is with this particular one, I think I'll just run a network wire into this this uh, port I put into the side. I used a bit and just drilled a hole into it, and uh, I'll I'll run the network wire in here, hardwire the network wire to here, and I'll have the network wire come out, and it'll actually meet up somewhere down the line, maybe 30 feet away, and it'll be permanently connected. I don't have to make any connectors, and I'll put it in it'll connect right up with my DIY LED Express bridge. But this was just a quick project. I wanted you guys to see that I was able to successfully convert um, a uh, power supply from the GE Color FX, connect it up to another controller, and now I'll have access, or I'll have, uh, I'll have the ability to, to use this container. All I did was put two, uh, two output holes in. I'll just tighten these down, and then voila, I have myself a nice controller 
and a very compact box and this can just be attached simply to uh, maybe a piece or two of PVC to keep it from uh, falling off the roof, make it nice and stable, and I can put a piece of uh, a little bit of sandbags or something on top of it. So, hope this is helpful. It gives you some ideas. It's where I went with the project. So, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.